everyone. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Adelina and I do DIY videos, painting tutorials, and just everyday life's adventures. Today what we're going to do is a fall gnome scarecrow. So I'm going to go over the materials with you first. And what I have here is a witch jack-o'-lantern that I got from the dollar store. All the materials here are from the dollar store. Um, just in case I haven't said that before. Um, so you're going to get one of these. You're going to need felt. You're going to need one mop head from the dollar store. You're going to need some chalk, scissors, some wire cutters, a glue gun, you're going to need a styrofoam ball. It comes in a pack of three. You're going to need some paint to, uh, to go ahead and, and paint your styrofoam ball. I went ahead and um, got some portrait pink for my styrofoam ball. That's going to be the nose of the gnome. You're going to need a, um, <laughs> you're going to need a paintbrush, some fall uh, florals just all different kinds and then some scraps some material you know just some material scraps I just have these from a previous uh, project I did now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to take the tinsel off of this uh, pumpkin so it usually starts from the top they usually um, start it from the top sometimes so we're going to go ahead and look for it There you go. And it's usually pretty, I mean, it's pretty easy. You just have to go back and forth with it. It's not hard. You're just going to remove all this tinsel. Okay. okay, so I did go ahead and remove all the tinsel from the frame. And this is what it looks like. Um, so the next thing you're going to want to do is grab your cotton mop head from the dollar store. Now this actually comes like this and it comes with this on here. I went ahead and took it off beforehand and how you take it off is you, it, you're basically going to cut. There's going to be two, um, plastic arms on the inside holding the mop together and you're just going to come in here and you're just going to clip them on both sides with your wire cutters and I did do that beforehand and then you're just going to gather up gather everything up top and kind of put like a little twisty tie up top and you're just going to go ahead and put that there and so you're going to go ahead and take a couple of your mop strings make sure they're kind of even and you're going to fold them in half and you're going to cut them down the middle and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold them in half again like that and we're going to fill this row this row and this row with these my uh, mop strings and that's how we're going to make the gnome's beard so on the first <clears throat> on the first row you're going to go ahead and put it through the frame like that and then you're going to take the bottom of the mop of the mop strings and you're going to put it through the hole and then you're going to pull it and then bring it down like that. So you're going to fold it, put it through the frame, put it through the hole as close as you can to the other one and pull it and bring it down. And you're going to go ahead and do this through the first, um, the, through the first line on the frame and then the second line and the third line 
So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so basically um, I went ahead and I put all the halves that I cut up here on the first on the first frame of the pumpkin and then on the second frame on the second frame and the third frame I left them whole like this so the first ones we actually remember we cut them in half and then we put the halves on the first and then the holes on the second and the third so this is what it looks like in the back so you're going to put whole a whole string, a whole string, and then the half string up top. And that's what it looks like for right now. Okay. Then we're going to cut this and untwine this so it can make it look, the beard can be fuller. Okay. So while that's done, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to take your styrofoam ball and you're going to take your paint, whichever color you want your nose to be, and you're going to paint it and you're going to set it aside so it can dry. Now I have already painted a styrofoam ball and it's already set aside, but you're going to want to do it now so it can dry for when we, when it's time to glue it. Okay. So after you get done painting your nose, your styrofoam nose and you put it aside, you're going to take your felt, you're going to open your felt. And so you're going to open it. It's pretty big actually from the dollar store. And you're going to fold it in half. You're going to fold it in half. You're going to put your hat like this. This is folded in half, and you're basically going to and what you're going to do is want to make that sh make sure that goes all the way down like that. All the way like that. There you go. We are going to make a brim because remember, we're making a gnome scarecrow. So I'm I'm going to try to do a little like a brim, like you know, like the how the scarecrow's hats are kind of uh, floppy. I'm going to try to do that. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never done it before, but I I wanted to do the hat a little bit different to make it look more like a scarecrow hat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and basically cut. I can actually feel where the hat is. So you're going to cut. See, you can even make the outline of it with your hands and because the felt kind of sticks to it. So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I can see the outline of the hat because I pressed the felt down perfectly. So I'm basically going to cut the outline of the hat now don't cut it too close to the frame because you're going to want to you're going to want extra material because we're going to glue it and then turn it inside out so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut my hat around the frame okay so i did go ahead and and cut my hat and that's the outline of it that's the outline. And then I did go ahead and take my glue gun and I glued the edges all around the felt. And now the glue is dry, doesn't take long to dry. And now I'm going to turn it inside out. There's my hat. Let's make sure it fits.
perfect. See? See how that looks so cute? Okay, now I did go ahead. Uh, what you're going to want to do is after you cut the top of the hat, you are going to have extra felt left over, like a big strip. So I did go ahead and cut two strips. They don't have to be perfect. And you're going to kind of want them to be, you know, like a little bit rounded. Kind of like this. And there you go. This is the back of the rim and the front. So I'm going to, like I said, I, I'm trying to make like a little scarecrow hat. So now what I'm going to do is, hopefully this works. <laughs> This is the first time I'm doing it, you know, with you guys. So, hopefully it'll look good. So, I know that I want my nose to go somewhere over here. So, my nose is already dry. So, I know I want my nose to go like somewhere like right here. See, like that. I'm gonna put it in there, and so I'm gonna. Okay. And that's my paint, and this is my painted nose. Like I said, I I did paint it off camera so it could dry. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, without trying to burn myself. If you have those little um hot glue little uh, fingers that they sell at the dollar store. You can go ahead and use those now. I, I have a couple, but of course I cannot find, I can't find any of them. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm maybe like right around the corner here. I'm gonna get my hot glue gun. Okay, let's see here. Let me get my glue has stuck. There you go, my string was stuck. <laughs> I mean my um my cord was stuck underneath the table. Okay. So now I'm going to just start on the side here. You don't need much glue. And then I'm just kind of gonna hold it there and then kind of crinkle it up like this. Put a little dot and then kind of crinkle it up. Just think of how a little scarecrow hat is kind of all crinkled up on top. Put another little dot. Do a little crinkly. Like that. Now, I'm just going to go all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the rim to the front. And I'm going to glue the rim to the back. Okay, so I did go ahead and glue the rim of the hat all around. And I kind of try to crinkle it up and stuff, make it look like a little scarecrow hat. And now I'm going to put some glue on the frame. And if you're happy with the hat, well, first let's see how the nose looks on here. Make sure we don't. Oh, yeah, perfect. 
That looks really good. Now before we put the nose, what we're going to do is, we are now We're going to unravel these to make the beard look fuller. So this wreath is actually very easy to make. It's just very time consuming. But if you have, you know, the extra time to do it, then it's, you know, I would do it because it's, I had it um, on my door not not this one with the mop. I've never done the mop one. But I did do another tutorial and it was a gnome. Uh, it was a, a fall gnome and you know it's on my door right now and I've gotten so many compliments on that. So um, I even made some extra ones for gifts. But I'm I'm excited to see what people think about this one with with the little um, beard made out of the cotton mop head. So this will be interesting. I might swap out my other one for this one. <laughs> but anyway, so this is what it's gonna look like. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and unravel all of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll be back. Okay, everyone so as you see I unraveled all the little mop strings and I got to be honest with you it took longer than I thought so and see and here's one that I missed but this is kind of like how I did it um, after maybe doing ten of them I kind of found the quick quickest way to do it and you just grab it and twist it like two or three times and then you grab it down here and then they just come apart. Kind of like I'm doing a braid. So, I mean, it's totally worth doing that because at first I was thinking I was just not going to unravel them, but I'm glad I did because look how cute that looks. I mean, it just looks really cute. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna put the hat on that we glued. We can cut that right there and make it all even. But right now, now we're going to glue the hat down so we're basically just going to put glue right here on the inside of this frame. And I'm going to flip it. some on the sides here. Put some on this side. Sure you fluff the little rim don't try not to glue that too much don't actually try not to glue the rim down so it can be like a little bit you know fluffy and eerie for when you put the nose in so now we're going to take our foam ball that we painted a while back 
and we're going to put glue on the back. And we're going to make a little hole in here. And kind of just glue it like that. A little bit on the head above, a little bit of glue, you don't want it to move. So I'm going to, let me see here, I think I'm going to glue a little bit like that right there, just a little bit, just so it stays kind of like in a Looks like it's moving. Okay, so what I did, um, I went ahead and glued the rest of the hat. And I glued it on the back too. I didn't glue it all the way, but I did glue the sides and the edges so it wouldn't move. And so now... The only thing that's left, oh, I did go ahead, I had an extra um, mop string, so I did go ahead and kind of like make a little border where the, the little flap and the hat actually divide. I just thought that was cute. There you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the hat. And I do have different floral here that I'm going to try. Now you can use whatever floral you want. It's basically your preference. I'm going to try this flower. I'm going to go ahead, cut the stem with my wire cutters. See how that looks like right there. Go ahead and cut that some more. That looks cute. Maybe I didn't make this bow beforehand. It was from a different project also. So let me see how this would look. It would look kind of cute like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hot glue the bow down. And then I'm going to take the flower, I guess it's a white daisy or white sunflower, and I'm going to hot glue this. looks cute okay and we're gonna give it some little patches on the hat and what I did was I did go ahead and cut a couple of these orange the orange material I cut like two little patches and I cut some checkered black and white and I glued them together and I kind of made this little design right here and I did fray the edges to make it look a little bit more like he was outside in the harsh weather and it looks all weathered and <laughs> so I'm going to put a couple little dots of glue on each one. I'm going to go ahead and put, whoa, that is hot ice. Go ahead and put that down. Now, I also went ahead and I cut just a couple 
of the mop strands under his nose. And I kind of, I, I cut them kind of like, I don't know, less than halfway. Just to give it like a, a full, a full, fuller, <laughs> I can't speak today, a fuller look underneath his nose. Because I thought it was kind of flat underneath because, you know, they were all the same size going, um, the long ones. I like the short ones up here, but I thought I needed a couple more short ones underneath his nose. So I did cut a couple of strands. I didn't do a lot, but just a couple just to make it fuller. So I think that's going to do it. I don't think there's anything else we need to add to this Scarecrow Fall Gnome. So thank you so much for being here. And remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss any of my DIYs or painting tutorials that, are, that will be coming up soon. And until our next creative rendezvous, stay inspired.